Hey, cryptocurrency investors. Are you guys wondering how to invest in cryptocurrency and what the tax implications are? I want to talk to you about the tax implications of cryptocurrency, how you need to report that, and what that actually needs to look like on your tax return. My name is Carla Dennis, and I am a tax strategist. Cryptocurrency is here to stay. And what I want to make sure that you guys understand are three very important items that you need to know when reporting cryptocurrency on your tax return and what the tax implications are. Number one, the IRS is tracking cryptocurrency. On the front of the 1040, there is a box that says, have you acquired, invested, or sold cryptocurrency this year so you know by that box being there that irs is all over cryptocurrency that's the most important thing for you to know starting out when talking about cryptocurrency it's so important to know that cryptocurrency is like having a stock when you sell it you're going to have to report capital gains income and that income is reported on form 8949 on your tax return. You have to report it, and you have to report it by the date acquired, the date sold, and the amount of money that you made. Whether it's going to be long-term gains or short-term gains, IRS wants to know that information, and we wanna make certain that it's being done correctly. So you're going to wanna to keep track of all of your purchases, when you sold them and how much you paid for it. So key so that you do not get yourself in a tax slinky. The other thing that's really important is depending on if you are selling it in a short term gain, that means that you're going to be taxed at your ordinary income tax rates depending on what tax bracket you're in. If you're in the 27% tax bracket, 24% tax bracket, that's the rate that your gain is going to be taxed at. If you're in the long-term gains where you held it for longer than a year, then you will be taxed at long-term gains rates. And those rates are anywhere from zero to 20% depending on your tax bracket. The three takeaways are, IRS is tracking cryptocurrency and you want to make sure that you're doing it correctly. Number two, you want to make sure you're using the right form, 8949, to go in with your tax return. And number three, you want to make certain that you are tracking the purchases, the sales, and the gains accurately. And if you're selling and purchasing day to day, you gotta be tracking it day to day because you will get yourself in an IRS slinky if you're not tracking it appropriately. I wanna give an example. So for example, if you purchase Ethereum and you held it for only five months, and let's say you purchased it for $500, but you sold it for $1,200, that means that you have a $700 gain and that's going to be a short-term gain. It's so important to understand that and with people going in and out of the market, it becomes very important. If you purchase cryptocurrency and you held it for a year and a day, that is going to be a long-term gain. So remember, how much did you purchase it for? I invested an initial 500. How much did I sell it for? In our example, that was 1200. You have a $700 gain. The timing of how long you held it determines whether it's going to be short term or long term. But at the end of the day, it's so important to accurately report this on your income tax return. It's so important that you are aware of this information. And if you need any additional advice regarding cryptocurrency, regarding your taxes or what you need to do to make sure that you're doing it correctly, make sure you click on the link below or comment below so that we can bring you more topics and more information on cryptocurrency.